بسم اللہ الرحمن ہارمونک before going into detail with simple harmonic motion we need to understand some of the basic terms the first is physics uh, the word physics is uh, derived from physicos which means nature so generally we can say that uh, physics is basically the study of nature Uh, now uh, let's come towards some precise definition of it the very precise definition of physics can be uh, the study of matter energy and their mutual relationship if you relate these three terms matter energy and their mutual relationship so we say e is equal to mc square or here e represents energy M represents mass and C represents speed of light. Okay, uh, after that uh, we need to understand little about motion. Uh, what is motion? When our body changes its state with respect to some observer, with respect to surrounding, with the passage of time, so we say that the body is in motion. For example, a moving train a moving car all this are considered uh, uh, that the body is in motion for example the moving car is in motion the moving train is in motion so all these uh, uh, we can say that the bodies are in motion okay now there are so many types of motion we have learned in class 9 uh, that there are uh, uh, three types of motion translatory uh, vibratory and uh, rotatory and there are different sub uh, uh, types as well here now we need to understand uh, about vibratory motion in class 10 our basic aim is related our basic aim to understand vibratory motion then uh, start of class 10th topic rest of the type of motion we have learned in class 9th already okay uh, vibratory motion we can say repeated back and forth motion of a body about its central position or you can say equilibrium position for example you must have seen a swing a student a kid is sitting on a swing and the swing is oscillating about the mean position about the central position the body is oscillating and repeating its motion in a equal interval of time so this is what we call a vibratory motion yeah in other words we can also say that it is oscillation you must have seen a simple pendulum a simple straight wire attached to a metallic sphere and it is oscillating about the mean position or central position you can say that this is one of the example of uh, vibratory motion or you can say oscillation you may have a ball uh, uh, you may have a bowl okay and inside that we have placed a kind of a ball right so uh, what happens and if you start moving that ball inside the bowl so this may be also considered as uh, vibratory motion or you can say as oscillation done ho gaya okay uh, now we need to understand about simple harmonic motion you know in physics what happened when you study some topic any topic so first of all you need to focus on the terminology of the topic the word the topic name in itself gives you a complete meaning and explains the basic idea of the topic for example the topic is simple harmonic motion if you see simple so simple mean easy to understand like easy something okay uh, 
harmonic is from harmonica which means a special class of motion and we have already explained that what is motion change of position with respect to surrounding with respect to some observer so we have done with that right okay a simple harmonic motion is the type of vibratory motion in which acceleration produced is directly proportional to the displacement from the mean position and always directed towards the equilibrium position or mean position so we call it simple harmonic motion mathematically we can say that a directly proportional to minus x or here this a represents acceleration x represents displacement now we will further proceed with uh, example let's suppose we have a uh, mass attached to a spring and we explain that example in detail motion of mass attached to a spring let's suppose we have a rigid support like this let's suppose we have a rigid support like this this is rigid support okay and we have a spring like this and a body of mass m is attached with it like this okay this is the body of mass m attached to a spring now what we do say this is the initial position or equilibrium position or central position of this mass m now what we do we apply an external force on this uh, body of mass m okay now we apply an external force external force on this body of mass m and we bring the body to another point like this now we bring the body back to another point say this point is a point this was its central point done okay yeah tak okay when i reach over here i remove the external force when i reach to end point so what i do i remove the external force external force becomes zero zero okay so what happens the body starts coming back to the original point the body starts coming back to the original point o in other words we can say mean position central position but does not stops at o it will not stop at o it will come back to another new position what we have done we were having a body of uh, mass m at central position o we have applied an external force on the right side and we have brought the body to a new point that is a point or here what we do we remove the external force when we remove the external force the body starts coming back to the original position o but it does not stops at o it reaches to another point like this it reaches to another point like this say this is a dash point this is a dash point this is mean point this is a point and this is a dash point right and the body is continuously oscillating about a o and a dash point now there are some uh, uh, terms which needs to understand over here uh, for example there are some basic questions arises over here why the body does not stops at o this is first question number second who compelled the body to come back to its original position what was the agent by which the body again came back to its original position so to understand all those uh, uh, to find out the answer of all those questions we further proceed it and we will come uh, to mathematical form and derivation uh, then Okay. Okay. Fine. 
Uh, the first thing we need to understand is restoring force. Restoring force, F R E S. You know, uh, it's very common uh, when you use computer and if you delete some file so if you want to restore that file what you do we, you, we we go to recycle bin and we restore the file from there similarly the function of restoring force is what naam se clear hai re again storing bringing back force we know that the agent which brings uh, the agent which brings motion in a body or tend to bring a motion in a body it stops the motion of a body or tend to stop the motion of a body we call it force so what is restoring force the force which brings the body back to its original position we call it a restoring force so the question is why this body of mass m reaches to a dash point from a a to o and then o to a dash and then again a dash to o and again o to a why this body is moving about the mean position that is due to restoring force so we can write it the body which brings sorry the force which brings the body back to its original position called restoring force okay uh, second thing why the body does not stops at o because of inertia the reason is inertia second one of the most important question we need to understand why the body does not stops at o because of inertia and we already know that inertia is the property of matter due to which the body either uh, due, due to which the body maintains its state of rest or uniform motion okay so we can say that the property of matter the property of matter due to which it maintains its state of rest or the uniform motion you can say or just motion you can say okay now we can say that the body is continuously oscillating like this between different points like this was a rigid support like this okay this was point o this is moving state this is point o this is a and this is a dash the body is oscillating between three points o a and a dash it move it's moving continuously now look what happened when we applied when we were applying external force over here in the same time when we have when we have applied a force external force on this body of mass m at o position what was happening the same body was experiencing a restoring force the same body was experiencing a restoring force whose function was to bring the body back to its original position whose function was to bring back the body to its original for, uh, original state so we can say that restoring force acting on the body was in this direction is it clear till here okay now we come to uh, some mathematical description of the uh, uh, topic okay
mathematical derivation we know that from newton's second law from newton's second law we know that f is equal to ma is it clear till here any problem this is what this is actually external force that we have applied this is what this is external force we have applied and from hooke's law we have studied hooke's law in class 9 that we have uh, already studied right from hooke's law we uh, have studied that uh, stress is directly proportional to strain f directly proportional to minus x f restoring is directly proportional to minus x so we remove the proportionality sign over here and we write f is equal to minus kx this is what equation number 2 now we compare both the equations actually over here if you see external force and restoring force are always equal in magnitude but opposite in direction so we compare both the equations step 3 that is ma is equal to minus kx done okay then we divide this m we divide this m on both hand sides dividing m on both hand sides we get ma divided by m is equal to minus kx divided by m so this m will be cancel out and we will write a is equal to minus k by m into x okay now what we do look this k is what this is spring constant this k is spring constant 